हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई एम अजय करमरकर बिफोर स्टार्टिंग फर्दर आई वुड लाइक टू से समथिंग प्लीज वॉच वीडियो कंप्लीटली एंड सीट विथ कॉपी पेन इफ यू फाइंड सम वेयर इंपॉर्टेंट देन प्लीज नोट इट एंड प्रोसीड फर्दर ऑल दो यू हैव फेसिंग एनी प्रॉब्लम आर डिफिकल्टीज प्लीज राइट इन कमेंट बॉक्स आई डेफिनेटली सॉल्व यूर प्रॉब्लम एंड अलॉन्ग विथ प्लीज लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब बिकॉज that can reach more and more students okay thank you let's see what the question says for a uniformly charged ring of radius r the electric field on its axis has the largest magnitude at a distance h from its center then value of h is You have given four options: r by root two, second option r by root two, third option r, and last d option is r by root five. This question is asked. J means twenty nineteen. Let's see what the question says. Here you have given a ring, charge ring, and find out the maximum electric field at the axis. as we know that what is the formula of the electric field at the axis of the charge ring equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon not q h upon h square plus capital r square raised to power 3 by 2 here capital r is the radius of this ring this question is totally based on mathematics which concept we have to using in mathematics maxima and minima you know that very well what is the condition for maxima here we have to find out maximum electric field at the distance of h means de by dh can be taken zero okay and then we get the find the value of h so therefore it is the key point and we have to in this differentiate with respect of h both the side then you can see that de by dh this value 1 upon 4 pi epsilon not and q get common because it is constant term and uh, denominator square h square r square raised to power 3 by 2 and whole square then uh, denominator put as it is and what is the numerator h and differentiate with respect of h is 1 minus h put as it is here differentiation of this term by using function of function concept 3 by 2 comes forward 3 by 2 h square plus r square 3 by 2 minus 1 means 1 by 2 and again differentiate of inner term h square become 2h and r square is 0 so therefore it is differentiation and de by dh is equal to 0 so therefore it is 0 multiply by this term will get the 0 divided by this q it will get 0 so therefore and whole terms multiply by this become 0 i mean to say this is 0 then this term 4 pi epsilon not this term h square r square is to power 3 by 2 3 by 2 and 2 means uh, 3 n upon q this whole term becomes zero so therefore this term is zero now remaining only this term okay h square plus r square is to power 3 by 2 minus <coughs> this two and this two cancel out h into h h square 3 h square and uh, h square plus r square is to power 1 by 2 okay now transposing this term to the left side become positive 3h square h square plus r square h square plus r square can be written as in the form of root because 1 by 2 you are well known about that root okay here 3 by 2 power 3 by 2 means h square plus r square and uh, root h square plus r square you know that 1 by 2 plus 1 is 3 by 2 so this term and this term cancel out 3h square equal to h square plus r square 
then 2 h square equal to r square then h square equal to r square by 2 it means h equal to plus minus r by 2 so here is the correct answer let's see which option here 1 by 2 so sorry so r by root 2 which option is correct here a option is correct i hope so you understand this question now thank you for staying till the end of this video and yes i remind you again don't forget to subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students and i'll get the energy for making new videos thank you take care bye bye